Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin again with Volt Grooming. Today we are doing a mohawk with a texture top and a V in the back. Stay tuned, this is a cool one. The first step I'm taking with this mohawk is putting in my initial skin line, just like any other skin fade. But with this one, you need to do it on a bit more of a curve because like I said, it's a mohawk, so it is going to have that like half moon curve around the side of the head all the way down to the back. We will be leaving weight. From then I'll take my two guard and move that up until about the crown to take some of the weight out of the fade area so we have a clean area to work with. Then I'll take my clipper with no guard, open it all the way and create a line around the head going downwards following the shape of the mohawk, opening and closing the lever to blend those lines out. Then I'll take a one guard, opening and closing that lever to gradually blend that line out on this side of the hawk. Following the shape of the hawk down and around the sides of the head. And once that side is complete, I like to then switch to the other side and do the same process on the other side. Once we feel like the fade is finished, we then wet the top down and give this style cut some of the most texture you could possibly give a cut. First, I'm gonna take a little bit of length off, create my guide line and follow that guide around his head. Then I'll go back in and I'll point cut to give the top layers some extra texture so they're not laying super symmetrical. And then I like to point cut the bangs as well instead of giving those blunt straight across black bangs. We give the choppy bangs. Then I like to use my shears and comb to scissor over comb the sides of the head. I'll take my shear and the moving blade on my shear will act as if it's the moving blade on the clipper. Put the comb flat against the crown of the head and follow that around, removing any extra that needs to be blended in. Then to finalize and give it some of the most texture, I like to slide cut the top. We then get to the V. Using our outliners, I like to create a V shape with the back of his hairline. Doing something like this can get a little tricky because it does have to be pretty even on both sides. Um, so I'd recommend just going slow and tapping one side to the other just to match them. Don't go in and don't take too much hair out initially. And then if you have to, you can also do as I'm doing here, taking your clipper and kind of re removing some bulk with some clipper over comb back there to get a bit of a cleaner line. Then for some final touches, I like to use the back of my outliner to kind of get some of that line out of there. And if I have to, I will go in and use my comb as a, as a guard and clipper over comb some of the fade as well to get into the tight, smaller spaces that make it hard. And then from there, we use our medium heat to dry it and then cool to lock it in and style it up with both sea salt spray to give it that textured, choppy mohawk finish. And there we have it guys, that is our mohawk for the day. You guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below or hit me up on Instagram. Thank you and enjoy.